What's happening, Captain? This is your boy, C.B. Hunts. Yes, what you see before you is the mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Eka Ultimate Back to the Future 35th Anniversary Back to the Future 2 Griff. Man, I didn't know this was out until my homeboy, Jesus Garza, sent me a picture. Hey, this is out. And I was main focused on one thing. And I didn't see that picture at the bottom. So I looked down and I was like, ooh, it's out. So, hopped in the car, hook off, I, I got him. And the other thing in the, uh, in the extra picture. I'm not going to show the picture because cause I want to give a show the picture whenever I do my next re, re, uh, review to show what he sent. Also giving him a shout out in, in that one as well. But as you can see, we got this uh this this awesome cover on this box of the pit bull on the front. We got back to the future 35th anniversary sticker right there on the side. Got the uh got the D Florian going off future, back to the future two. Ultimate Griff Tanner on the back of the box, showing them off, different poses they have, everybody in the actual line, and he also has a, a bio, so if you want to read it, pause it, here it goes. And, just to show off the figure, how he looks inside the box, there it goes right there, showing off how the figure looks, and everything in the package, and show the image of him actually on the actual hoverboard in, in front of the uh, clock tower. So, once we get back, we'll have this bad boy out the box and we'll see what to do with a griff. And now we're back and have this bad boy out the box. Man, I gotta say, I love the figure. It is awesome. I just wish they had one more uh, 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 piece in there. This would have been the, the best figure out of the whole line. If they only had his case. You know, the case where Biff had the, had the hoverboard in. Not Biff. Griff had the hoverboard in. And he opens up the case. The case opens up. And the hoverboard just comes out and flats. It just, it just, it just floats there. Just, had yeah, that that loud, like 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 like, roll the engine hanging off the off the man. <laughs> well, wish they had that case, but I'm hoping somebody who makes of uh, like a set of sweets and stuff like that actually had this case. If they do, I'm, I'm I gotta buy. It. I gotta buy because that case is is it, it, it has to be made. You ain't lying. It has to be made. Hopefully. But I know NECA have, they have, have done this several times. They made a figure and people would say, Oh man, I wish I had this, I wish I had that. So when they made the next figure of in that line, they added that little small piece in there. So, hopefully, NECA, Randy, <laughs> if you're listening, please, you got to make the this case. We need the case. We need a case, fam. We need a case. <laughs> but I digress. So, we got to figure out the box. We're going to see all it comes with before we talk about the main thing. First up, we're going to talk about his his actual bat. I remember when they first showed this, they had the bat. They showed off the bat. I was like, oh, yeah, we getting this bad boy here. I just wish it, it was like how it was in the actual movie, how it can go in and out because it look like it, it, it can but it actually don't so it's cool though but well, well as we had the actual bat I'm I'm good I'm good I'm good he even had a little uh, name on it Gibson and the Griff you have a little hoverboard stand same kind of stand that they had 
with the other hoverboard with a uh, with a uh, Marty's it. So with that, and speaking of that famous hoverboard, we got this bad boy right here. Man, this mug was clean. We had it, man. Had the type of engine in the back. Y'all powered up, looking badass, and everyone handles for his homies in the back. They can grab on, they can hang on to his as he like just speed past everybody else hanging on. <laughs> Shoot my ass right after this. I, I might go watch it. <laughs> yeah, because like you see the bottom of the board, the designs, the hoverboards on the bottom. You see the piece that goes under it. You put the board on. Excuse me. And everything, but man, I cannot wait. I cannot wait till I get that should take some pictures of these. No, I like the design on it. Even on like I do a pit bull on the, on, on the actual board. Nice. So Griff, I don't remember seeing him with without his helmet on. And I don't remember seeing him actually with a smile. So, with this here, this must be an extra head sculpt for, I guess, if? I don't know, but you gotta remind me. Like, I don't know, this is, like, I'm gonna go blue. Like, back and watch and see if he actually had his helmet off and he smiled. Because the whole time he was actually playing this character, he was angry. He had this, he had, he had this actual face on the whole time. <laughs> so, I don't know. But it, it, it looks nice. Like how it is. You, you can tell, like, he, he has a little, a, I don't know, that's a, like, a gold tooth, I guess. But it looks nice. And now, for the main man of the bunch. Riff. And you can see the character here. The type of angry face he always had. Looking quite nice. A very extremely detail of it. The helmet matches the how it was in the movie. Another piece up top. He got the little strap on like his chin. And his jacket looking clean. <laughs> I like the jacket how it is. It's that soft plastic. And I like the new design of the shirt. And it's all textured as well. With the little dots along along with it. Back of this textured. And you can see his um is it, is it actually on it or bracelet. High tech stuff going on, 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 on there. See his glove. You can see uh -huh. you can see the glove. Stripping the textured pants as well. Oh, that black pants and we got like these almost like a steel type of bird type of uh, pattern on his pants and that's all extra as well got the little steel piece there we got the little piece on, on the pants might might I, I, I can touch that <laughs> but like the, the belt design you can see quite nice yeah got, 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 got like his I think I think it was his two. They almost like they almost like like art plugs. I don't know. And he had that big ass glove on that he had in the in the actual show. Like how it looks there. Streaming texture. It does feel like a soft rubber type. With that. So I did it like that. Back of the jacket, like I said, got the type of designs and a piece of the back. That's possible part of his belt. Um, it's almost like a little, like an old school Casio watch band. That's, that's like, that's like, that's like on his back. You ain't even seen one of those in a while. On watches where you put on your wrist, 
and they, they pull and they stretch out. That's what that's, that's, that's what that is on the back. And like in his boots, it's still still big boots with a little sp sp spike on them. Looking quite nice. And I'm telling you, this figure is like very very detailed, especially in the f face. Face is just it screams no pun intended. It's, it screams riff. <laughs> But talk about all that. We're gonna go with his uh, articulation, Griff. Lift his head up that high. That's a lot. Neck down, extremely low, like that. Really good tilt in the neck and the head. Raises his arms up that high. Has no bicep swivel, but he has a double elbows here. As you can see, moves around in the elbows, got the upper waist. He's here, moves real well, goes back that far, goes forward that much. Twists wrapping up apart. That splits that much. Kick forward that much. Kick back just a little bit. Single knee, foot. Go back that much, forward that much, and it does have just a tiny bit of an ankle rocker. So, all in all, this figure is nice. If you collect the uh, act to the future line, this one here is a must have because part two, man, it was really good. <laughs> and now, come part of the view, you see how other figures looking next to uh, Griff. First up, we got to stack up next to the Back to the Future 2, the Doc Brown. As you can see, I really do like this figure. Look like Doc Brown spot on with everything, with all the face sculpts, all, uh, all different stuff he comes with. And I look, this is how I got him posed on my shelf. Him holding the actual uh, the, uh, the, the uh, newspaper with him showing Marty what happened. But just in case you haven't seen it, I don't know how, but just in case, I'm not going to spoil everything, even though it's small print, you probably can't really can't even see what's actually on it, unless you, unless you have a, have a figure. And up next, this is how he stacks up next to the Back to the Future Part 2, Marty, Marty McFly. As you can see, the type of outfit he had in that movie. And he has his own hoverboard as well, and the uh, and the uh, Pepsi in his hand, just like Doc Brown. This is how I got him on my actual sh shelf. When like, everything is uh, displayed. And last but not least, this like uh, stacks up next to the. Uh, if Tannen from part one and part two, so still wears the same outfit, both movies. But you see, the sports almanac is the actual coat. This is not how he has him. This is not how I have him displayed on the shelf, you know, in part of the first one. But Biff and why he was, um, why he was laid out. So that part, I do have him kind of like. Laid out on the actual sh shelf when he, when that happened, he had his he had that old Mac in, in his pocket. So yeah, <laughs> that's what I got right there. And this is my review of the mm -hmm, Echo Ultimates Back to the Future 35th Anniversary Back to the Future 2 Rift Tannen. Hope y'all enjoyed this review. Trust me, go ahead and find out making it. And you know, with every review, I will take pictures. This is my Instagram right here. Well, I will leave links down below. You go and check those out. And your boys on TikTok. Well, I take those same pictures. I post over there. I just add a, a little bit of flair. This is your boy, CB Hunts. Hope you have a blessed one. And trust me, I can't wait to catch you in that next one.